Decorate with me for Christmas here at the lake house. Now I am super excited to decorate this year. This is the first year that I am decorating up my house here at the lake. So I can't wait to see how it's going to turn out. I just wanted to start with some cozy vibes. That's why I lit that candle at the beginning. It's actually a fall candle, but the smell is just like Christmas. And I just thought it just added those Christmassy cozy vibes to my home when I can smell like the cinnamon and cloves. I also wanted to start out with making myself a special coffee. Now this is my second coffee for the day. I just had a normal one this morning when I was getting ready, but I wanted to make something really cozy and special for when I decorated. So I put a little bit of caramel syrup on the top, added some pecans, we'll call it a caramel pecan latte and I just love having coffee and candles and just getting into the holiday spirit. Um, my kids are going to help me put up the tree here in a bit but first I just wanted to show you the front entryway and I'm going to start decorating in there first but I just wanted to show you some of the changes that we've made recently. So yesterday evening, I was very busy cleaning this whole place because I wanted to get it all ready to decorate. So I just thought I'd show you around so you can see what the before looks like. And then over here in the front entryway, there is nothing like knowing that you're gonna decorate to get some stuff done. So we finally put these pictures up of the kids and it just feels so much more like home in here having some pictures up because it was just blank walls before. And then over here, I really wanted to put a huge mirror, but I didn't have a huge mirror. So I'm using this old window pane. I used to have this on the fireplace in my old house. And so I'm just gonna reuse it here because I thought it looks really pretty and it'll be fun to decorate up for Christmas. So the bench that I'm using in my front entry for right now was not very Christmassy so I used a throw blanket that was really soft and just put it on over top. And then I wanted to show you guys what my basement is looking like right now because this is where I just took out all of my Christmas decor so that I could see everything and just kind of get a glimpse of what I needed and what I didn't. And Clara is helping me here. She really wanted to bring this reindeer up and I said it would look great in this corner and then I'm gonna put this pillow on the bench and now what I did is I ordered a pillow that was one size larger than the cover and that way it really fills out the cover and it doesn't look limp or anything so there's a little tip for when you're buying pillows just get the pillow that is one size bigger than the cover and then it always looks nice and puffed up then I took this scarf that I just had sitting in my closet because I just felt like this bench needed something a little bit extra so I just placed that underneath the pillow and I think it gave it just a really cute look. 
So moving on to this giant rustic window, I wanted to add this really pretty wreath to it, so I put some plaid ribbon around it so that it could hang and the ribbon just became part of the decor. And then I just tied a little bow to it and I thought it really added a Christmassy cute decor piece. However, I was thinking it was just a little too green, I wanted to add in a little red, so I just added these little berry branches. Then it was time to take off my fall wreath and add the Christmas one to the front door. Next, I'm working on my banister and I'm creating a really beautiful garland here. So what I did is I took some gold ribbon and secured it to the banister and then I'm going around and fluffing all the pieces out. This garland is from Canadian Tire, it's called Mixed Pine and if you look at it really closely you'll see the different kinds of pine in it and so it really just makes it look a little bit more authentic and I'm going to add some elements to it as well just to make it look pretty so I got these lights from Dollarama and they're just battery operated so that I don't have to plug anything in so I took the battery pack and hit it at the base of the garland so that it's easy to access but also you can't see it and then I just twisted the lights around the branches every once in a while I would pull it all the way through just for fun because I felt like doing that and then I just twisted it and wound it all the way up here I had Clara helping me as well because she was very excited about having twinkling lights in the Christmas garland and I gotta admit when you add twinkling lights to pretty much anything it just makes it that much more magical. I then took individual pieces of deco mesh ribbon and I secured that into the garland and because it's in little pieces I was able to just place it wherever I wanted to. This is also from Canadian Tire. Christmas is almost here, let's toast to a very good year, it's just you and me. little picks at Walmart. I thought they would be perfect for adding in a little bit of texture to the garland as well as I wanted just a little bit of a snowy element. I didn't want the entire thing flocked but I did want to add some snow so these were perfect for just adding in that little bit of extra frosting that I wanted. Come along, start the show, having fun in the snow. Working in my front entryway while moving on to the living room, I wanted to put my tree here beside the fireplace. The only problem is is that there's no plug beside it, so I had to get a little bit creative and I'm putting some string lights around the door, making it part of the decor so that you don't notice that the lights actually are going to be plugged into the tree this way. It's just a better way than just having an extension cord go right in front of the door. So it worked out pretty well. I was able to plug in the tree. It looks absolutely beautiful and I really love it here because you can see it from the living room as well as the dining room. Okay, so now I'm going to add this owl to the top of the tree. You know, it's kind of like a white angel that God created. It's one of his creations. So I think that it's going to be really beautiful on the top of the tree and not very traditional, but I kind of like that. And we do have a lot of forest animals that we add to our trees, so this owl will go perfectly on it. So now my kids are just adding on the garland and decorating up the tree. They had a lot of fun putting all the decorations on. And this year I just said, you know what, just go to town, 
have fun, put the decorations on as you like. This is just part of the experience of Christmas is to listen to Christmas music and decorate things up and make memories and I really didn't care if it was perfect right now. Later on if I want to I can go in and I can rearrange some things but for now this was working for what we needed to do tonight which was have fun and just get into the Christmas spirit. Says of old, when all was right and the candlelight would blow, where we used to play in a wintry wonderland, and we hear carols sung from Rudolph's marching band. So because the walls in my living room are so dark, I've really wanted to add some lighter elements. So I have this wintry tree that I'm adding to the wall and I think this will work throughout the entire winter. And then I'm taking all of the pillows off my couch. I'm not really a big fan of the pillows that came with this couch, but I don't have the pillows that I actually want to put on here yet because I ordered them off of Amazon and they are not here yet. So in a later video, I will show you how I'm actually going to display the pillows on my couch. I have this great big plan that I really want to show you guys, but I just can't yet. So I'm just going to use some gray pillows for my bedroom upstairs and the Christmas pillows that did come in the mail. Dashing through the snow In a one horse open sleigh O'er the fields we go Laughing all the way Next I'm going to create a centerpiece for my coffee table and the great thing about it being on a tray is that if we want to use the coffee table then I can just pick the entire thing up and move it out of the way. So I got the tray from Dollarama, the trees are from Walmart and the candles are from Canadian Tire. I think it's so cool how everything lights up but I don't have to worry about it being a fire hazard because it's all battery operated and not real flames. between decorating and listening to Christmas music, we wanted to make sure we were going full out with getting into the Christmas spirit tonight, so we decided to make some ginger snap cookies. Clara has the best job of cleaning off all the cookie dough from the mixer, and then Katie and Carly are getting the cookies all set and ready to go into the oven by rolling them in some sugar. It's great to have a teenager who likes to bake because she can help out so so much and they came out smelling absolutely delicious and then of course I wanted to display them on my cake stand because that's what I got it for so that I could display baked goods and it's just so tempting to go in and grab one of those so now I just want to give you a quick tour of what the living room looks like so far Bring a torch and that is a bell. Bring a torch, come swiftly and run. Christ is born, tell the folk of the village. Jesus is sleeping in his cradle. How ah, ah, beautiful is a mother.
hope you enjoy today's decorating inspiration for Christmas. Now with all of this decor going up, there was no way that I had time to cook supper, so we ordered in some pizza because that's just how it goes on days like this. And we sat down together as the family afterwards and watched a Christmas movie. And this was just the perfect night for getting into the Christmas spirit. I hope this really inspired you guys and you are ready to decorate for Christmas. Have an absolutely wonderful Christmas season. Get cozy and make sure that you spend some time with your loved ones. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.